there's nothing hard about this it's just dropping the, the the jig down to the bottom let the natural action of the boat going up and down in the swell work the squid jigs for you well they've come back again and these droppers with the two two jigs on them have worked again i think we've got a double header here or a big horse we've got a big big horse of a calamari really bad net shot yeah no you, you did the right thing you let him discharge twice he's probably uh same size as the others and he's gone again third time there you go two droppers on a what a nine ten ounce 12 ounce sinker does the job again mark want to show the, the public that beautiful uh Southern Calamari caught here in Port Albert. Mark Bryant, Tidal Princess, get down here, get into the, again. the Calamari around. So we're just uh, taking uh, advantage of this at the moment. And uh, it feels quite heavy. I think it's only one this time. Ron caught, Ron's had a couple of double headers. size southern calamari it's a perfect rig for deep water calamari with the floating jigs super sharp stainless steel hooks okay what we're going to do now we've uh, tried a few different baits now we're going to try the trusty squid head you can never beat fresh bait so we're going to have a crack with a uh, double hook setup. One hook runs up and down the line so you can space it out properly. You face one one way, face the other the other way. Show them plenty of hook, they don't know what a hook is. So we've got plenty of hooks sticking out here. And here we go, Ron's away again, uh, Tony's away again. So I'm just going to toss this one out a bit, different rig this time. We've got a running sinker so the line can pull away through the sinker fish don't generally feel it and we should be uh, all geared up for a reasonable snapper or gummy and that'll do us so he looks after himself what we look for is the rod to double over then he's got it in his mouth and what I was taught point the rod at him nice and slowly that feeds the bait back down their throat the next time he hits it he should be going sideways and then the hook should do its work Okay, let's see how we go. 